This week, I'm going to lead you through a slow flow yoga practice for strengthening the legs. Surely we're gonna get the whole body moving, but the focus of the practice is to strengthen the lower body. Let's get started. You can do this practice without any props, unless you like using blocks under hands in your practice. In that case, have a couple of blocks or maybe a book or a small box that you can use under your hands. For example, when we do twisting lunges or warrior three poses. Other than that, we don't need any props. And we're going to start from standing towards the, the short, the small end of the mat to start our practice. So if you want, you could turn your mat so that the long side of the mat is facing the screen, your device where you can see the practice. That might help you to follow the practice. But whenever you are ready in your space to start your practice, come and face the short end of your mat. And we're going to take a few breaths here in in our mountain pose, just getting ready for our standing practice. And a few times, rock the weight from heels to toes, so from the back of the foot to the front of the foot, and then from side to side, from right to left. And a few times, circle the weight. So circling the weight from one foot to the other, from front to back, and change the direction. And really feel your toes spreading on the mat, on the floor. So finding all that surface area that you have on your feet, all that support that you can find, an activation that you can find from toes to soles of the feet. And slowly starting to lift that support to the legs, towards the spine. And let's just find... Find that mountain pose where you have weight on two feet and take a breath in and out. And then we're going to shift all the weight onto the left foot and start to lift the right knee up in front of you. Now you could lift your arms up as well, so floating the arms up towards the ceiling. If you feel that shoulders get really tense, you could also bring your palms together in front of your chest. And now slightly flex your toes in that right foot, flex that right ankle, so keeping the foot active. Take another breath in and out, just testing our balance, testing the weight on that left foot. And then with the next breath, step the right foot far back, arriving into a low lunge. And first, bring your right knee down. You can release the right foot toes as well. And with in breath, press your left foot down, lift your back up, lift arms up, and also slightly elevate the pelvis so we're not leaning all the way down and forward even slightly tucking the tail under. So trying to find engagement from legs to the pelvis to the spine and focus on that left foot, pressing down, spreading the toes, lifting up through the arch of the foot. Here as well, you might have palms in front of the chest if that feels better. Take another breath in and out and keep that tailbone just a tiny bit tucked under. That might give you some opening at the front of the right hip as well. And from here, as you exhale, lower hands down. Now tuck the right foot toes under and then lift the right knee, the right thigh away from the mat. And first, leave your right hand down. So this is where you could bring a block under the right hand as we twist to the left. You can reach the left arm up. You might even look up and really start to fire the legs. So now pressing down through that left foot, keep the right knee lifted. And then with the next in breath, lift your back up and open your chest out to the left side. 
bring your left hand towards the right thigh or towards the right hip and inhale start to reach your right arm slightly up and over so there could be a small side bend small back bend keep the legs fired take another breath in and out see if you could bend the left knee just a tiny bit more and then exhale bring hands down windmill the arms back down and now turn your right foot right heel on the mat and we're going to inhale again lift the back up this time we arrive into warrior two if needed you can adjust where your feet are and we're still keeping that left knee bent now we're rotating the left hip open so see if the left leg knee might go kind of over the left foot toes of course finding that rotation from the hip so it might be that it's not I, I, it's not the exact same line from the knee to toes let's see where your foot your legs go and we're still breathing take another breath here in and out and then as you inhale extend your legs reach the arms up and now turn both hips open so a more symmetrical shape in the legs I'm going to come down into the open horse as you exhale bend both knees cactus the arms lower the pelvis down keep the chest open keep the back tall breathing more to the chest space so we keep a subtle lifting in and up through the lower belly and here now both hips rotating open breathing a couple more times in and out trying to stay down you might rock the weight slightly from one foot to the other and then as you inhale extend the legs reach the arms up and we're going to now come into warrior two on the other side so close the left foot open the right hip a bit more and then exhale bend the right knee finding warrior two on the other side and we're breathing here keep shoulders soft still feel that strength is coming through the feet to your inner thighs lifting through the pelvis into the spine take another breath in and out and then we're going to exhale windmill the arms down to the right leg turn the left heel up so finding your and a low runner's lunge now on the other side and from here step your hands both hands on the mat and step into downward facing dog couple of breaths in downward dog you can walk from one foot to the other move the hips a bit maybe shake the head slightly breathe in and out knees could be bent And then we're going to continue on this side. So now we're going to inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Bring the leg about to a parallel line with the floor, keeping the right heel turned up towards the ceiling, the toes down towards the mat. So not rotating the hips open, but keeping hips more in the same level. And it probably means that we can't lift the right leg very very high up that is very fine take another breath in and out here we get a bit of strengthening for the upper body as well and then as you exhale step that right foot close to the hands and we're going to inhale lift the back up and this time bring palms together in front of the chest still keeping that right knee bent now we're going to twist to the other side we're going to exhale bring the left elbow to the right knee or maybe to the outside of the right knee and then inhale twist 
out to the right side. Could be have, you could have your palms together or maybe just the fingertips together. You can look up. You might also look down if that releases the neck more. Take another breath in and out. And then with your next exhalation, release the twist. Bring chest back to the center and keep the right knee bent. Just lift your back up. Now you can either keep your palms together. We're gonna come into balancing pose on the right foot. So either keep palms in front of the chest or if you wanna challenge the balance a bit more, bring arms behind the back. You could interlock fingers. And we're going to slowly move into warrior three. So now you might step the left foot tiny bit closer to that right foot. And then inhale, start to slowly shift the weight onto the right foot, elevating, lifting the left leg up behind you. Keeping a long line from head to the left foot. And here as well, you can play with the hips. Are you rotating your hips more open? Or maybe you want to keep the hips in a more same level. Take another breath here, in and out. And then we're gonna stay on the right foot and start the flow from the beginning. So bring your back up, lift your left knee towards the chest, towards the belly. And you can either float your arms up towards the ceiling or you can bring palms together in front of the chest. So here we are in the beginning. We're still standing on that right foot. Flex the left foot toes. Flex your left ankle. And lift the left knee up towards the chest. Here as well, you can try to bring hips to more or less the same level. It's very fine if the right leg is tired at this point. Take another breath in and out. And then we're going to slowly step the left foot far back. You can bring your hands down and then lower the left knee down. So we come into that low lunge. If you want, you can release the left foot toes as well. Now right foot keeps pressing down. We're going to inhale, lift the back up, lift arms up and again. Remember that slightly tucking the tailbone under. So rather than just leaning forward, just tiny bit tuck the tailbone under. And you could have your arms up. You could bring palms together in front of the chest and the right leg, the right foot, they keep Keep firing this, stay very active. Feel even the right foot toes spread on the mat. Again, there might be a bit of an opening at the front of the left thigh, hip. Take another breath in and out. So it's constant work for the legs, for the lower body. Now we're going to exhale, Come down, forward, bring hands down, or maybe just fingertips down, tuck the left foot, toes under, and then lift the left knee away from the mat. So you have that lifting through the left thigh. Keep your left hand fingertips on the mat to begin with, and inhale, twist out to the right. Right arm reaching up, and then focus on the legs. Pressing down through that right foot. We're going to inhale, lift the back up, windmill the arms so that your right hand comes either to the back of the left thigh or maybe next to the left hip. And you can add a bit of a back bend or side bend here. But there might be a bit of an opening along that left side body. Keep the right knee bent. And we keep breathing. Take another breath in and out. If legs are shaking, that is very, very fine. And then with the next exhalation, windmill the arms, the hands down. And we're going to turn the left foot, the heel on the mat. Prepare for warrior two. As you inhale, 
windmill your arms open again. You might want to adjust your feet here so you feel you're not twisting from your knees, you're not twisting from the ankles too much. But you have that active rotation through that right hip. And feel the feet, they're equally pressing down and lifting up. Maybe breathing more out to the ribs. Shoulders soft. And then with a the next in-breath, extend your legs, reach the arms up, and again, rotate both hips open, turn both feet open, exhale into the open horse. So bending both knees, cactusing the arms, and still trying to keep the pelvis, the back about on top of each other, so not leaning too much forward. Sending the sit bones down, keeping the chest open and breathing. And you might rock a bit from side to side. Take another breath in and out. And then as you inhale, lift yourself up, reach the arms up. And we go into warrior two on the other side. So close your right hip, the right foot, open the left hip, the left foot, and then bend your left knee. Again, keep moving the feet if needed. So your pelvis is in a good place. Your hips feel safe to rotate. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, windmill your arms down, bring both hands to the mat, turn the right heel up. And from here, we're going to step into that warrior, not warrior two, first step into downward dog. We have that warrior three coming up, but not yet. First downward dog. And you can move the feet, you can move the hips. Maybe shake the head. And then before that warrior three, we're going to lift the left leg up. So now coming into that kind of more closed three-legged dog. So lift your left leg up behind you, but keeping hips kind of more or less in the same level. Feel inner thighs almost reaching towards each other. From the back of that left leg, the left buttock active. You can check the tops of the shoulders and neck are free. Take another breath or two in and out. Upper body stays active. And then as you exhale, step the left foot forward. And we're going to lift up into our high lunge. So from here, as you inhale, lift your back up. Reach arms up. And if you want, you could bring palms together in front of the chest. Or other option would be to reach the arms behind the back. So feel free to, again, bring arms behind the back. Preparing for the warrior three, you could step the right foot a bit closer to the left foot. And then slowly, slowly shift the weight forward onto that left foot and start to reach head forward, reach the right leg up behind you. And again, notice what you're doing with your hips. Are you rotating them open? Are you keeping them more closed? Standing leg could be bent or you can straighten more the left knee, but keep all muscles active around that knee. Couple more breaths in and out. And then slowly, slowly start to lift your back up. Release the arms, 
and bring the right knee towards the chest and this time hug the right knee in and then release your feet your arms down and here we go rocking from one foot to the other rocking forward and back a couple of circles like we did in the beginning and then find the center find your way back to the middle and take a few breaths in and out. Good. Now, if you want, you could do that same flow again. So repeating that same flow, or you might move into a different practice from here. If you want, you might also Come down into Shavasana pose, take a moment to rest or any stretches that you want to do for your legs after this. So feel free to end the practice in your own way or just continue into further practices, maybe combining this video with another video. Thank you very much for joining in, for trying this slow flow. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and also leave a comment below if, if you liked it or if you have any questions. And share the video with anyone who you think might need some strengthening in their legs. Good, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!